so hey everyone welcome again on devish tech channel so in this video we will going to complete the register functionality and i am uploading this video very late and you know the reason okay but let's try to complete the register functionality okay so in the last video we have created the register endpoint now we have to connect this register endpoint with our front end okay so if i will go on a front end then what we need to do exactly is we need to do the same thing as we did for the login okay but one thing you have noticed that currently it is not a mac os now it's a window os now okay and uh, because the mac book uh, is provided by the company my old company i have switched the new company so yeah i'm making an announcement that in some point of time we will going to start a new series where i will help you to switch the company or how to grab your first internship or job those kind of thing i mean i will going to share my experience so i will it will be either a live mode or it will be a like a video mode so yeah please do support this channel and uh, we'll try to make those series as soon as possible and try to complete this series as soon as possible so yeah let's focus on this video topic that we need to complete the register functionality and uh, yeah we need to do the same thing as we did for the login okay we have to make a method where we need to make a api call we already have a register endpoint we just have to make the api call for the register and whenever we deal with uh, endpoints or rest api we should have the model class first okay so just we did we created a login model for the login endpoint similarly we have to make a register model for our register endpoint okay so the register model will going to take how many parameter it will going to take six parameter okay it will going to take the mobile number password full name email gender alternate mobile number and hint okay so all this thing we will going to pass in the body of our rest api endpoint call okay so we should make this model class yeah so if you remember while creating the login model class we use one website that is a quick type website okay so i am going to take help of that website only right now so this is a quick type website i will put the link in the description where you need to give the json format and it will going to create a model class automatically okay in a dart language or any specific language which you want so for our case we need to create a model class for our dart language so this is a json format so we have a 2 4 6 and 7 field so you have to write those field in a json format and it will going to create a dart code okay so this is a model class code and we just have to copy this code okay you can provide the name of the model class so it will create name register model and all those stuff okay and what we need to do we have to go on the register module and here we have a model folder and as of now in the register model we don't have anything so let's paste all the code and as of now the data the kind of model classes it is generating by the quick type it is purely not null safety so you can put the required keyword for the mobile number because it will going to be required we do the validation as well right so you should remember that mobile number and password will going to be required full name will going to be optional so we can put a question mark over here email will going to optional so we can put a question mark over here gender will be important so it will be a required i guess so i forgot the logic how we validating so so gender will be required alternate mobile number will going to be optional hint i guess it should be optional okay so yeah now the model class is created just hit the save and we can use this model class on our controller so all the logic of making a api call or parsing a json data we should write inside the controller only 
like we did on a login controller right the same thing we will going to do on a register controller i'm going to make a new method it will be a register okay register i'm doing a uh, naming convention mistake and what we need to do we need to do the same thing as we did on a login controller first we need to create a model class so let's go over here the first thing will be register model let's create an instance of the register model okay and as of now we should have all the thing like all the parameter uh, the first parameter will going to i mean we have to initialize it properly we have to create an instance of the model class so the first thing will going to be a mobile number and how we will get the mobile number we will going to get the mobile number from mobile number text controller or we need to do the importing the stuff okay uh, actually we have this mo uh, mobile number if i will go on a register so let me go on a register dot dot and we are getting the mobile number from where we are getting it from the login controller right so we are getting it from here so in a login controller if i will go on the mobile part so mobile number part so login controller dot login editing controller dot text this is how we are getting the mobile number so let's go on a uh, register controller first and we need to get it here properly okay get dot dot also we need to use the login controller so like the way login controller dot login editing controller dot text this is how we will get the mobile number or at the time of calling the register also if we don't want it to do the same thing at the time of calling the register we can pass the mobile number from the register model i mean register page to this register controller but i wa i will not going to do that thing let's import it via the login controller and the second thing will going to be password so how we will going to get the password so we already have the controller of the password so it will be like password controller dot text then the third thing will going to be what it will be a gender and how we will get the gender we will get the gender using the gender variable which we have dot value so in the value we are storing the gender what is the next thing alternate mobile number for the alternate mobile number we have the mobile number text controller so dot txt right the way we need to initialize everything like email full name so we have the email controller dot txt we have the full name controller dot txt and what is last hint we have the hint controller dot txt so this is the way how we will initialize the model class okay so register model it's the value the local variable okay so we have created the instance of the register model okay what was the next step so if i will go on a login controller then you will find that we are making the api call directly and we need to do the same thing we have to make the post api call on a register also okay so let me copy the whole thing okay i will going to copy the whole thing in if i will go here just after making the this thing we should make it a sync in awake okay and i had to import the network handler network where is the network handler first and the next thing will going to be instead of using the login model to json we need to use the register model to json and i already explained you why we need to do that thing to convert the map type of object into the json string we need to do we need to do this thing and i will going to pass the register model instance which we just created and uh, undefined name register model oh the problem is this thing will going to after here okay so and instead of using the login 
endpoint, we need to use the register endpoint. So if I will go in the backend side, then it is a slash login, okay, slash login and slash register, okay. So this is the way how it will work. First thing is the slash login and second thing will going to be slash register because after the slash login it it will going to find the first login okay so this is a this is a endpoint called slash login okay and this is an endpoint of slash login slash register okay how because first it will go here and it will find the slash login and slash login all the endpoint are written inside this login.route.js so if i will just provide the slash login then it will hit this this endpoint and if i will provide the slash login slash register then it will hit this endpoint so we we have to provide the same thing over there slash login slash register and it will going to make the api call and after making the API call, if everything will work fine, then we should get a token back. So if the thing will work fine, then we will get this token, okay, in a respond.json file. So it have the message and the token, okay. And suppose uh, if we have some kind of error, then instead of the token, we will get the error message. Okay, and also the status code will going to be 500 and if the, everything will work then the status code will going to be either 200 or 201. So we should get a token back. So let's try to print it out. Okay, what exactly will happen print. Let's print the response which we are getting after making the API call. Okay, so I'm going to put it and I will going to hit the save and what is supposed to the print must have a body because it's an abstract oh i think i did the mistake i had to put it over here okay so now let's try to make the api call so i will put it over here and let's call this register method where we need to call this register method inside our register page so where is our register page if i will go on a register page we have a create account button okay so let me go on a create account button and we have to use the register controller which is already in a slice so here we have the create account button and if it is validated then only we will going to make the api call so if the validation is true then only we will going to make the api call so register controller dot uh, what was the name the name is the register okay so this is how we will make the api call okay and as i told here itself we can pass the mobile number the initialize mobile number which we have the login controller dot login edited controller dot txt we can pass it from here only but instead of doing that we have created the instance of the login controller again over here to get the value of the login okay so uh, let's see and uh, let's see what will going to happen so mobile number is one two three four five oh so this is coming right now so what we need to do to handle this thing to handle this thing we can grab it inside the scroll view okay single child single child scroll view and if i will hit the save that should be gone yeah anyway anytime the flow flow i mean overflow will happen to wrap the thing inside the single child scroll view okay now yeah let's try uh, the password will going to be something one two three four five okay full name dev stack email optional 
test at the rate one two three mail we cannot put a mobile number if we wanted to meet test okay let's try to make a api call okay so if i will go on the back end side and what i will do just for the testing i will just console log console dot log the request dot params request dot yeah or request dot body okay just see so okay ah uh, let's hit the API and let's see what will happen if I will press the create account then we are getting a error. And what is the error? Cannot post slash logging slash register. So this is the error which we are getting, and we haven't hit the API. Okay, so router dot route. Oh, we forgot to give the name of the method. Okay, so router dot route, and then we have to provide the name of the method. So how we will going to provide the name? we had to provide the name like this dot post okay so this was the issue we did so like the thing router dot route slash dot post similarly we had to do router dot route provide the endpoint name dot post and all the thing okay now it should work let's see so in the last video we haven't tested the api is working perfectly or not so let's see again so yeah it hit the api you can see that we got all the value mobile number password full name email so it should it hit the api and if i will go on a front end so we got the token as well you can see that over here so in a response which we uh, printed uh, in a register controller after making the api call you can see that the response have the token okay which mean everything is working fine now what we need to do so after making the register endpoint call and getting back the token we need to store this token in a flutter secure package okay and we have to navigate into the home page okay and uh, now in the home page we need to check that user is already logged in or not if the user is logged in then we have to show the profile section okay so that sort of thing let's do in a next video because this video is already large and let's do it in a next video okay till that don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video